So how's it going, my comic chat army? We're here today with Brett Murphy, the creator of Kingdom Come and Paranormal Hitman. How you doing, Brett? Hey, good. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming on. So which book came first? Kingdom Come or Paranormal Hitman? Uh, so Paranormal Hitman released uh, February of the 2022. Okay. Yeah, or no, uh, February 2021. Yeah, last year. Yeah, Paranormal Hitman came out first, and then uh, Kingdom Comes coming out in August of this year. So do, you, do you do this all by yourself, or do you have a team? Um, so for uh, Paranormal Hitman and Kingdom Come Deliverance, uh, I'm working with uh, the same artist, uh, Wilson Gandalfo. And, um, you know, he does the art, the colors, lettering. He does it all. Sweet. Yeah. That's pretty good when you can get somebody that, I mean, save you on money. Do you kickstart them each? Like, do each issue, do you kickstart it? Um, so they're uh, published by uh, Behemoth Comics. So uh, okay. so they're, uh, they're distributed through, like, Diamond and Simon and & Schuster. And, and uh, yeah, so, so they get them out there. Sweet man, you're at the big times now. Yeah, yeah, Behemoth. Yeah, they're uh, you know they're killing it. They're uh, you know they just got bought by Sumerian Records, and uh, you know they have a lot of big books and licenses coming up. So, uh, so yeah, good things happening over there. Mm-hmm. Um, you got Diamond Coast, like. Uh yeah, you know what I don't remember. I don't need them. It right now. <laughs> Right. I, I don't expect you to remember them. I'll put them down in the description. Um, and they can get this book anywhere. Like, they can get normal comics, right? Yeah. So, um, they can order them through, uh, you know, previous, like, I would get a local comic shop. And um, there's also, uh, they're also available on behemothcomics.com. Uh, uh, they have right. their own web store. So, um, you know, if somebody can't get them at their, or if somebody doesn't have, like, a comic shop that's close to them, you know, they can order on their website or, you know, I know there's a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of comic shops like Midtown and Golden Apple that have their own websites that, you know, people don't have a local shop they can order through there too. Um, are you going to attend any comic cons soon? Yeah. So, uh, I'm planning on, um, I put in for New York comic con. Um, they, they release the, the tables, I think June 25th. So in a couple of weeks, I should find out. Um, and then I think I'm going to be at my friend's table at Baltimore Comic Con for a day or two. Okay. Um, and then other than that, I mean, I do a couple like local shows that we have around the around the area. But uh, yeah, and then I'll, I, I try to plan on doing some signings at. Uh, I got invited to do a couple signings at some local comic shops. So you know, I'll probably do that when the uh, Kingdom Come books come out. Um. Where can we find news or where are you going to pop up next? Uh, so um, on my Instagram and Twitter, uh, at BMurphyWrite, um, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll post, like, updates and, um, you know, in regards to the books and uh, different signings and stuff like that. Okay. Um, where do you draw inspiration? Yeah, so, um, you know, growing up, I was a big comic book fan, like, loved Chris Claremont, and, you know, grew up in the 90s, so, you know, I always wanted to kind of be like, you know, Claremont and McFarlane and those guys, and, uh, you know, that kind of pushed me to to actually do the writing, and, um, you know, I mean, growing up, I had a lot of good teachers in high school that were, um, you know, some of my English teachers that kind of also kind of pushed me to do more writing and uh you know that all that combined kind of got me got me to where i am today did you put your teachers anywhere in the comic book as like a thank you yeah so um the one character of dr mooney in uh paranormal hitman was uh one of my english teachers who kind of you know he was probably probably the best teacher I ever had. Uh, I kind of put him in there as like a little homage uh, to uh, a little thank you to him. Um, And it's funny because when I went to Wilson with the character, I didn't tell him like, I just said he had to, you know, kind of be like an older looking doctor. 
Mm-hmm. And the way he drew him, it's weird. He had no pictures or anything. He looked like my teacher. <laughs> so it, it was kind of like a happy accident. It was like perfect. Nice. Does your teacher yeah. know? Like, did you get in contact and show him like, hey, this is you or? No, nah, I can't. I need to try to get back in touch with him. Uh, you know, he he was older when I was in high school. So, like, he he probably doesn't have, like, Twitter or anything like that. So, yeah. Yeah. And the way the world is today, you can't call the school board because, you know, they probably think you're nuts. Yeah. To try I to probably explain have to, that to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might have to, like, drop by one day and maybe drop off some copies and you know, maybe yeah. have him send it. Because I'm sure he's retired by now. Yeah, that was, I graduated in 2005, so that was 17 years ago. I don't even know if he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that was, yeah, 17 years ago. Man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Saying it like that. <laughs> still yeah. old, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, damn, wait, 17. <laughs> 17 years, yeah. Um, did you, do you have any comic books before they got published? So I did an uh, anthology, uh, with a couple stories in it, uh, that was on Kickstarter. Um, now there was a book, uh, it was Legacy Presents Tales of Horror. So we had, uh, we had like a couple like zombie stories, um, there was like a serial killer story, st- different stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it was cool because we teamed up with a couple of uh, Philadelphia athletes, and um, you know we gave some of the money towards charity. So it was a uh, it was a cool uh, a cool little uh, Kickstarter. That's cool, man. How is the indie comic presence in New Jersey? So I just did like a really like like a smaller local show that's like in my neighborhood and you know it's pretty good there were i was surprised about like how many writers and artists that were there um uh like in the indie community it was uh it was pretty cool because it's usually a show with a lot of uh like uh like vendors that sell um you know like action figures and have like comic tables like with long boxes but this Mm -hmm. year this year was different they had including myself and my buddy Matt uh, Kuhnt, who's uh, the who was the editor on Paranormal Him. And there was, uh, I think there was like eight of us, eight creators there. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah I mean, years past, they only had like maybe one or two, so. Yeah. Have you ever thought about getting it, like all the New Jersey creators together and do an anthology? Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's not a bad idea. I was thinking about that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, use it. That'd be pretty yeah. cool, man. Yeah, I'd do like a South Jersey, Philadelphia, like little team up or something. I like it. Yeah. Um, what social medias are you on? Uh, so I mean, I'm on uh, you know, Facebook, um, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, those are the right. the three three that I'm on right now. You don't know, TikTok or anything? No, no, I can't get into the dancing on TikTok or. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, dead or alive, who would you like to make a comic book with? Like your fantasy team, like your lineup. Uh, Jack Kirby. Okay. Yeah, Jack Kirby definitely. I I think he's yeah. I mean, he's the king. <laughs> oh yeah. Would yeah. you? Would you expand on one of his stories already, or would you want to make an all new character? I'd probably, I'd probably want to make an all new character. Okay. I'd like to see what he could do with like some different ideas that I had. All right. Um, what what advice would you give to to people out there that want to get like get their books into publishers' hands? Yeah. So I mean. If you have a good story, I mean, the best the best advice is, you know, the first the first idea you have, I mean, if you haven't been like published before on like Kickstarter or whatever, I would say, you know, get your name out there on Kickstarter, build up like a following, build up an audience on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
And then after you get that first story out, you know, kind of use your best idea for the second story after you have that. That way you can go to a publisher and say, hey, I've been funded on Kickstarter. Here's my, you know, great idea. I have a following. And that kind of gives you a better chance to get published instead of just going out right away and saying, because that's the big thing. Because, like, when I had an idea, like, with the uh, Kickstarter, you know, I think it was more of, you know, you haven't had any books published before. Like, we're not going to take a chance. But then once you had that Kickstarter, it was a little bit easier to have people, you know, give you an offer for, for your next series. So did publishers come to you and make offers, or did you send your book to everybody? Uh, so for Paranormal Hitmen, um, I sent my book, and then I got an offer. But like for a couple of stuff that I'm working on now, I've, I've had people reach out and, um, you know, ask, ask for different pitches and stuff, so... I so, yeah yeah do you do you do this um do you do how do I say this how do you do do you do indie comics full time or is that you do that on the side yeah yeah full time and um you know each day I'm working with um you know me and Wilson are working on another project right now that uh you know hopefully we we have some stuff going on behind the scenes so hopefully we can announce something soon with with that series but uh yeah yeah I mean it's cool it's um you know, Kingdom Come is going to be like the, the first licensed book that we do. Um, you know, it's based off the video game from a couple of years ago. So that's going to be a, it's going to be pretty cool. Kingdom Come. What is that about? What was the video game about? It was, um, it was uh, about, uh, it was set in like 1400s uh, Bohemia. It was about uh, uh, King Sigismund who kind of took over the kingdom from his brother And, you know, they were just going around wreaking havoc on different villages. And the story follows a uh, blacksmith's son who kind of, you know, becomes a knight and kind of, you know, fights his way through their bandit army and, you know, kind of helps, you know, the supporters of the king that got taken uh, captive. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. Is that the game or is that the comic you're going to put out? Oh, uh, that's the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and the cool thing about the uh, the game is um, a year or two ago, they got picked up by um, a couple of uh, former Netflix producers. So they're going to do a uh, live action adaption for uh, or adaptation for the uh, for the uh, video game. That's pretty cool. So yeah. is your comic going to expand on the story or where is it going to pick up? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the 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 comic is like a prequel to like all the all events right. leading up to the game. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Um, I know you're a family man. Did you draw your family in there anywhere? Not uh, I, for a book coming up. I probably will, but not for, uh, not for Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come is going to be, uh, you know, rated R pretty violent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think my family would appreciate it if I had their, their heads getting cut off in the floor. Right. <laughs> that um, yeah. And that's coming out through Behemoth, right? Yeah, yeah, Behemoth, um, August, uh, August third. Yeah. Okay. That's right. coming that's up. A couple months. Couple months away. Yeah, yeah, it's creeping up. Yeah. So you just got the two books. Yeah, uh, yeah. For now, we got the. We're gonna do. Um, a second volume of Paranormal Hitman in uh, 2023. Um, okay. Because we, we got the TV deal with uh, Entertainment One for the series, so uh, so we're gonna expand on the uh, the universe there and uh, you know have a second volume following up from uh, the first four issues. So you said a TV deal. What is that like? They're gonna put out a TV show? Yeah. So um, it uh, we signed a deal with uh, Entertainment One. Uh, a couple months ago, um, they're owned by uh, Hasbro. They're Hasbro's uh, like entertainment division, and um, yeah, we signed a you know TV development deal with them, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, a TV show comes down the line for uh, with that deal. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Like you're living, you're living the dream. Like a lot of people want to get their book to a publisher. 
and now you're you got you're booking a publisher you got a tv show that's awesome dude <laughs> yeah 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 exciting times yeah are you gonna be in it like are you gonna be in the background or uh no, i mean no, i i uh I mean, I don't know if they would throw an extra in there, but no, nah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a character or anything in the, yeah. I mean, yeah, we just, ask, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, ask me if you can do like the Stan Lee thing, like just walk through or something. Oh, the cameos? Yeah. yeah that, that would be pretty cool. I was, I was an extra in two movies like a couple years ago, but unfortunately I didn't make it to camera. So <laughs> yeah, that would that'd be cool to get on screen. What was the two movies? Uh, so the first one was Invincible. The it was a uh, football movie with Mark Wahlberg. He played okay. uh, Vince McAuley. And then the other one was uh, Silver Lining Playbook with uh, uh, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence. So was you an extra just doing stuff in the background? Yeah, and... It's in Silver Lining Playbook. You can see my brother like perfectly. He got in the shot for he was in the background, and I went like towards where Bradley Cooper was. And of course, I didn't get. I, I should stay with my brother. I would have been in the movie, but yeah. so did he get credited at the end? Did it say like extra or no? Nah, nah. They they went around to people. Um, I think the only way they got credit is if they were a SAG member and, um, you know, they actually like had like a little bit of a, a role. Like they went up to, there was somebody like we were supposed to dress up as like Eagles fans. And there was some guy there like decked out with like makeup and stuff on like big jewelry with like Eagles logos on it. And they actually went up to him and having them like sign a form. I guess he must've gotten his name in there because he had, they like picked them to do some some kind of role in the movie, but uh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. So is that? I wouldn't think that would be hourly. Is that you get paid by the day? Like I'm just curious. Um, I think we got paid hourly. Yeah. Okay. Because it was some guy that worked at the different like rec centers um in Philadelphia. Like we knew him, and he was he was um you know with the different um. When I first got started with the Invincible movie. They kind of needed guys that played football. And then from there, we kind of just kept in touch with the, the casting agent in the area. And they kind of like would put out like flyers and stuff saying like, hey, we need, uh, you know, 18 to 30 year old males to play, you know, a fan or something like that. And then you would just put in and they would invite you. Hmm. All right. Well, that's all the time we got for today, Brett. Is there anything you want to say before we go? No. Um. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. And um. Yeah. You know, if you uh, if you go uh, to your local comic shop, the uh, Came to Come Deliverance comes out August third and is in the uh, in the uh, previous catalog now. All right. Can they, Can we still get uh, Paranormal Hitman, or is it collected in a trade? Yeah. So um, it's collected in a trade. Um. I think Behemoth might have issues two, three, and four on the website. I know issue one sold out, um, but yeah, they can get the trade. Um, it's you know, comic shop, Barnes and Noble, uh, Behemoth.com has it. Yeah. Nice. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What? You mean you haven't subscribed to Comic Chat Authority? Oh come on, subscribe already. What are you waiting for? It's no big deal. Like, man, don't forget to tell him to hit that like button. Yeah, yeah, that too. Just subscribe.